I've met many clones in my time, but never one like you. Rex, upon meeting Omega the Bad Batch continued doing missions for Sid and earned enough credits to get by. Omega and Rekka formed a tradition of purchasing and eating mantle mix after their missions. After a mission stealing a lizard from the Rockeye gang, the pair went out for mantle mix as per usual, but when they returned, the former clone Captain Rex was seated with the others at the bar. Omega curiously took a close look at Rex when introduced, recognizing that he was a first-generation clone and telling him as much. Rex was confused on how she knew, and she quickly responded that she could tell by the lines on his face. As the group continued talking, Rekka asked Tech for treatment for his headache, a problem that had been ailing him for some time. When Rex learned that the squad had not had their inhibitor chips removed, he quickly stood up and backed away, placing Omega behind him and putting his hand on his blaster. Omega was distressed when Rex said that the four clones were a danger to themselves and to her. Hunter eventually got Rex to calm down and agreed to Rex's plan to remove their chips. Omega and the others met Rex on the planet Bracca. As they overlooked a downed Venator-class Star Destroyer, Rex explained his plan to find the ship's medical bay and remove their inhibitor chips there. Omega followed as Rex led the group inside the ship, avoiding the patrols of the local group in power, the Scrapper Guild. They eventually located the med bay, but as Rekka prepared to be the first to be treated, his chip activated. After knocking out Tech, he chased Rex, Echo, and Hunter out of the room, with Omega staying as instructed to look after Tech. However, Omega decided to grab Rekka's blaster and fire at him. As Rekka had incapacitated the other three, he chased after Omega. She slipped underneath the door, but Rekka forced the door open with ease. Omega tried to hide, but she was discovered. However, she was saved by Rex, who stunned Rekka just as she was discovered. As Rekka was prepared for the chip removal once again, the procedure finished, but Rekka did not immediately wake up. Rex suggested Hunter take Omega topside to get some air, but Omega firmly said that she would stay with Rekka. The group sat around waiting, with Omega falling asleep, but she was wakened by Rekka's gentle hand on her head. Omega excitedly welcomed him back, and as the others prepared to have their chips removed, Rekka pulled Omega aside and apologized for what he had done, feeling bad that he was unable to control himself against the chip's effects. Omega told him that she didn't blame him, and pulled out some leftover mantle mix, telling Rekka that their mission was a success and that they couldn't break their tradition. Omega would later travel with Echo and Rekka back to the surface, where Rekka began to teach her how to disarm bombs. Omega initially felt good about her ability to do so, but when Rekka handed her a pair of cutters and told her to disarm the bomb that he had just activated and would detonate in the next 10 seconds, Omega panicked and failed to do so, running before it exploded. However, it turned out to be a prank from Rekka, who had only let her try on a smoke bomb. The pair met up with Echo to return to the group, but Echo noticed that they were being watched by the Scrapper Guild. He and Rekka attacked the trio of scavengers, eventually stunning all three of them. When the batch met up, Echo suggested they leave, but Tech and Hunter decided that the group would go to salvage weapons from the armory and data from the bridge that would settle their debt with Sid. Omega asked what to do with their three prisoners, but Hunter promised that they would be in and out before they even woke up. In the artillery bay, Omega found a chest of explosives while Rekka found several proton torpedoes. Omega asked if he would teach her how to arm one of the torpedoes, but Rekka smiled and said that they were all his. Then, Tech, who was on the bridge, calmed Omega to come to him, and she arrived to help Tech copy the master drive. As Omega looked out the viewport at the wreckage of several Republic ships, she asked Tech what the war was like. When Tech gave a straightforward technical answer, Omega asked him what the war was really like. Tech did not elaborate, but when Omega asked why a button was blinking, Tech got up and told her it was the proximity sensor. While Tech guessed it was a malfunction, a trio of Imperial shuttles flew by and landed. Tech warned Hunter, who joined them on the bridge. Seeing Crosshair, Omega followed Hunter and Tech back down to Echo and Rekka as they worked out a plan to escape. 